Before venturing my own epistemology of artistic research, I would like to consider those of two prominent artistic researchers. Jens Badura wrote that debate and thought on the nature of knowledge in artistic research, albeit using the idiosyncratic German term Erkenntnis, develops the Baumgartner tradition of sensory knowledge, which is motivated by the explicit epistemological question whether the mode of rational argumentation that operates exclusively through the medium of logical terminology doesn't exclude crucial moments of insight and thus must be expanded accordingly. He suggests it be expanded in a way that creates a synergy with other discursively operating modes of knowledge and doesn't hide behind claims of being completely different to them. He calls this a complementarity, which allows the traditional dichotomies of intuitive versus discursive, sensory versus rational, or objective versus subjective not to be thought of in opposition, but rather in supplementation. Henk Borgdorf posits a short answer as being knowledge embodied in art practices, and a longer one as the knowledge embodied in art, which has been variously analysed as tacit practical knowledge, as knowing how, and as sensory knowledge, which is cognitive though non-conceptual, and it is rational though non-discursive, adding that the distinctive nature of the knowledge content has been analysed in depth in phenomenology, hermeneutics, and cognitive psychology. These take personally expressive slants on common discursive themes that we have explored in this chapter. As such, I would like to posit my own epistemological definition of artistic research as a metacognition of the intuitive and cognitive components in one's own artistic practice, including their symbiosis and parameters for assessing their intersubjective resonance with others.